History Her Street. Today we're exploring the great British Institute, the pub. So down your flagon and pour on your mead as we go into the boozer. For over 500 years, the British pub only offered mead and ale to its customers, but today it offers all kinds of alcoholic beverages. The pint, a cider, a Baileys, Hemingway daiquiri, a whiskey, the rum and the coke, Blue Wicked, Facts. There are pubs all over the country. For a population of 68 million, there are 58 million pubs. That's one for every third person. Let's go and have a look. More facts. The first British pub was built in 1853 by the Romans, and it was to act as a resting point for the soldiers marching on the gruelling day and a half trek from Rome. That pub is no longer here. Today, it's a Boots. Name facts. The word pub comes from the title public house, meaning house for the public. Incredible. Gambling facts. During the Shakespearean times, gambling was banned after a huge brawl in the Cock Tavern pub over the price of a guinea pig. Today, gambling is welcome in pubs and includes things like Noel Edmonds' Crazy Crazy World. During the industrial period, 97% of the population worked in factories or construction. And after their day of brawling work, they were offered a three-quarter pint of ale. The full pint was offered to the gentry, or the rich at the time. Cheers. But there's a darker side to British alcohol. In the 1940s, Winston Churchill was taken to court by Lady Nancy Astor after a drunken outrage towards her. The lady noticed the Prime Minister was drunk and said, You, sir, are a drunk. Winston Churchill instantly replied, You, sir, can go take a flying f During the Middle Ages and the Great Breeze, pubs were so cold that they started to build them underground. And we still have one here today. This one dates back to the 12th century. But this pub offers something a little bit special. No, it's not. It's snuff. The Puritans banned alcohol, and to get over this, the public started using snuff, a combination of tobacco and bleach. today and I'm sure you have too. So we'll see you next time on History Her Street.